welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new please don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications and if you're already part of the family welcome back um so today basically is gonna be my labor and delivery story um as you can see i have a newborn and i have a one year old so first um i'll be talking about how everything went went down okay sorry if you hear um noise it's because delani is in the background making a lot of noise but anyways let's get started so it was mm, i say it was july 19 um when everything started so it was july 19 i started um half of my body was um going like numb basically i was having like a paralysis you can say that that i was having a paralysis like half of my body and um yeah i got scared like i couldn't even talk this one was worse because it also happened with my first one with lani it also happened um my arm went numb like my half of my body went numb so i kind of like knew it but this one was like kind of a little bit worse because like i couldn't even talk right so I was rushing to the emergency room. Um, this I was I got there. They started like an IV and everything. Um, until the next day, not not even that. Until like later on, um, they rushed me into the labor and delivery, and they checked me if I was going into like a preterm labor and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't. I was two centimeters dilated, I think. Uh, so they gave me time until the next day. So it was now August, August, I'm sorry. It was now July 20, it was now July 20, right? Yeah. And I was not dilating. They checked me like the next day, the next morning and nothing. Like I was not dilating. And then like the, the doctor, she was like, oh no, you're not dilating. Everything's okay. Um, you're gonna get um, sent back. And then they started checking me again. Um, and yeah, it still was no dilation or anything until later that afternoon, um, something like happened and they checked me and I was um, six centimeters dilated now. And um, yeah, I was six centimeters dilated now, so they checked me and they were like oh you're more dilated and like i was already like eating because like you know um i was gonna i was gonna get sent home so i was eating and everything and then they're like have you ate anything and i was just like no but i did i ate a salad so my nurse told like the doctor that i was dilated like, a little bit more so um Uh, my nurse told the doctor that I was dilating a little bit more so she came and checked me and she um, she confirmed it so when she confirmed it yeah um, she was like I'm, go I'm gonna break your water and everything hold on guys I think I'm gonna give her like your so she confirmed it and they broke my water after that mm, they just start like um everything like the process i was just there waiting to give birth and i went to some tips there so they already broke my water so hopefully i can record um you know a lot of stuff but if not then you guys will have to like just hear it talk you know but anyways I heard, like now they have me on the IVs. they already have me on like the in case I need blood, they told me I am going to need blood because I'm like anemic right now. So they are going to transfuse me blood and yeah, the contractors are now ooh, going. And we'll see those right there, as you can see right there. Yes, guys, I am having this baby today. So wish me luck. Oh my God, July is going to be an expensive month for me, especially because I had both of my clothes on July. Delani, July 11th, and then this one, July 22. So, wish me luck, guys, and stay tuned. 
so after that i was getting like contractions and everything like the contractions were like closer now because they induced me basically they induced me like to get like um faster contractions because um i was having contractions but they were like let's say some were like close and some were far so basically um they induced me to have like um the contractions like constantly so after they induced me i was getting them constantly and now they started like i was like i'm getting the contractions currently five or six centimeters dilated guys so tail so after i started feeling them um now i asked for the epidural of course i did got the epidural but guys when it was time to push guys the epidural literally wore off like i was already feeling my legs um i was feeling everything guys literally everything and i could feel also the contractions the contractions felt like weird like literally i was like the what i was feeling it was that i wanted like to go to the restroom back and do number two but basically i was like holding it that's how i felt and i was just like what the hell so anyways i was feeling that and then i felt like uncomfortable down there like on my middle part area and like i just started like to feel everything and i was scared and like i started to panic i started to cry and my mom she was like why are you crying like stop crying and push and i was just like my i can't like i feel like i'm gonna shit myself and literally like that's how i felt like through the labor like i felt like i was gonna shit myself and i was so scared i was like i was shy like to actually shit myself because i felt like the urge like to like take a shit but I guess it was like, the, you know, the baby coming down and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, after there, it was, I was already 10 centimeters dilated and I was scared because I was feeling the contractions, the urge to take a shit and the baby like pushing herself down. So I felt everything. So I literally pushed her out up to the head. And from there, like I stopped pushing, like literally I stopped pushing because I couldn't take the pain anymore and I stopped pushing and since I was not pushing anymore what was easier for the doctor was gave me give me a second degree tear so literally she cut me more than usual um, and that felt bad so she gave me a second degree tear and yeah, the baby was out. I'm gonna take a picture of her when she was out. Yes, guys. Um, she had a lot of grasa. I don't know why. Like Delani, she also had like a lot of grasa. But yeah, that's her. That's her. And after that, um, they started like you know checking her, cleaning her, and whatever. And it was time like to take her. So after they take her, um, they took her. What's it called? Um, um, she started. She started um, stitching me up. And guys, let me tell you, I feel like the pulling, the needle going through. Like it was literally bad. Like I just wanted like to get over it already. It was so bad. Like I was just like, just like finish already. Like hurry up. Cause like I couldn't take like the pain and the after pain was horrible like i couldn't even stand up i couldn't even sit down like it was so uncomfortable and it like burned and they gave me like a like a spray um they gave me a spray they gave me pads and whatever but still like i couldn't even like pee because it will burn me like down there like it literally hurt me so after that whatever um you know it was the next day so i was with my baby this time i did was with my baby because delani i couldn't be with her since she was a preemie she's also a preemie 
but like with Delani, I couldn't be with her because um she was like not breathing when she was born and she was rushed to the Nikki. So with Delani, I couldn't like spend time with her. But like with her, I did and it was like, you know, the best feeling ever having your little kid, like having your your baby by your side. So after that, um, they started like, you know, doing her tests and everything and she couldn't pass one, like several tests in order for the baby to go out. Well, she was not passing the one that she was coming out too yellow. So she was not passing that one. And I was there in the hospital for like, what? three days there because she was not passing it and then they took forever like to get the results literally like the worst hospital ever with Delani I had her at doctors and her I had her at LMC like literally the worst doctor for me the worst experience there like they took forever like so anyways um yeah they were like oh you cannot be here anymore because I was like since I gave birth already, like, the next day I was already, like, ready to go. Like, I shouldn't even be there, you know? But I stayed there. <laughs> so I was not supposed to be there. And they were like, oh, no, you cannot be here. Come for her, like, the next day or whenever, like, she passes the test. So she finally passes the test. They called me. That day, I was feeling like crap. Like, I was getting, like, a big headache. I think I was getting, like, I have migraine. I have migraines so I was getting the, the worst headache I couldn't even carry her so I stayed there for like after she was out and it was like the worst like I couldn't even like spend time with her carry her or anything and to like yeah I started to feel better you know cuz like you know, I had to so yeah and yes guys that's basically what happened like this labor and delivery we and she moves a lot and she has a lot of hair. Um, this is what happened. This lady brain delivery, way different from Delani. I thought everything, those were like the worst things that happened to me, like the worst. And now I'm just waiting on like, for me. But anyways guys, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications and share with a friend. And so good to join the family, guys. Thank you, guys.